Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I thought we'd get back into a fun little mission that's going to be called Headstone Hardcore Geo Survey. That's right, you heard me. Hardcore mission. Warning: In a hardcore mission, you will not be able to revive to self revive. If your character goes down, you can only be revived by a fellow prospector. But guess what? We're a solo baby. There's no such thing as fellow prospectors. We're crazy. So we're going to do this. I don't remember this mission, honestly. It's been so long since we played this mission, like day one of release, right? So, but we're going to be going in. We're going to be a little bit more o overpowered than we were on day one when we played this, right? We're going to go in. I'm going to bring a full set of nano armor. I mean, we're not going to need much for this, right? So I'm going to bring, let's see. I'm going to bring my water cam. I'm going to bring my knife. I'm going to bring my survival backpack. Uh, I'm also going to put that on a suit, of course. And I think what I'm going to go with is animal health bar module. And I'm going to do movement speed. This will be our loadout because I don't really need anything else. I'll make a little stone pickaxe while we're in there. Um, You know what? I'll actually just get rid of this. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that and I'll just bring a pickaxe with me. Let me grab, where's my shui shui? There's my shui shui. Love my shui shui. All right, there's our loadout. That's what we're gonna drop down with. Confirm, private, because this is a solo. I cannot be saved. You saw it there. I put it on private. We're loading in. I'm gonna I'm gonna put us through the whole load sequence here because I don't want people to think that I bust my character out or I spliced this to put in a different launch sequence or something like that. You know what I mean? Like we're going in hardcore. This game is private. If I die, I'm dead, dead, baby. So let's see if I can do this. Watch me die to like a little rabbit, right? Or fall damage. Oh, that would be so funny. Leave a comment down below. If you think I'm gonna die, tell me how. And if you're right, figure something out if you're right. Figure something out. If you're wrong, and you're not already, you have to subscribe to this channel, okay? We've been on Icarus a few years now, but the place is still a black box. Let Gileo him talk to us. to change that. They want geological data and lots of it. They need you to go set up three survey stations. Something about tectonic movement. I don't know. I don't see a sponge. I'm no geologist. But it always comes down to exotics in the end. Always. Without much data, you'll need a central uplink Ooh, okay. to beam it up here. Locations are That's marked handy. on your map. You'll find supply crates dropped nearby each site with the tech you need. And be careful. Wildlife seems to resent this kind of thing. Huh. Good luck, friend. I remember the first time we did it. I think I think I remember this a little bit now. I think I remember like the first one we went to had bears attack us, like two of them. So we're going to need to play this safe, right? <laughs> what do we know about being safe? All right, let's make our first bow. All right, we'll craft that up. And then we'll craft up some arrows. But first, let's go smack this up a bit. And then we're going to go into this cave that we happen to spawn right next to because my first play here is I'm going to make a stone hatchet. We're going to build a crafting table and we'll put it inside there. And within that crafting table, we'll make our tier two bow and we'll make a bunch of flint arrows. Now I'm going to need leather for that. So that means we do got to go kill some creatures out in the world so we can get that taken care of. But first, this will do. All right, 54, no big deal. No big deal. Wonder how many... Oh, it's probably just doing for how many sticks I had, huh? Okay. Good enough for me. All right, let me put this over here. All right, what's in here? This is a nice small cave, so it should just be one, maybe two worms tops, but... Let's see. There you are. I was like, where are you going to spawn at, buddy? All right, and then in here, we just got a couple things. We got some coal, a little bit of iron, titanium. Pretty good caves now that we had that voxel update. So why don't we mine this bitch out a little bit and then we'll uh we'll we'll get crafting. Ooh, look, our first creature. Shh. Everyone act cool. Hardcore. Alright, that'll help us out here because I do like I said, we need to get leather so we can actually make flint arrows, because I believe it's like leather sticks and um 
and iron ore and that's going to be our main power source here so let's build up our i need and i haven't built some of these things in so long need some sticks that's what i'm missing here so let's grab a few of these sticks need these sticks whoopsies if i can craft this hammer or not a hammer an axe we need to cut a tree down so we can get some wood so i can build us a crafting station Time to do some bow fishing. Ah, oh, damn, those fish freaking poisoned the crap out of me. All right, so I've got my crafting station. <clears throat> Just gonna drop it here. And as you can see, I'm gonna make my bow. And then we're gonna make the rest of our goodies into flint arrows here so i need to go grab a few more sticks but i also need to get more kills anyway so it's not going to make too big of a difference all right we've got a bunch of goodies here so i'm going to make another 100 arrows and then that'll be good enough for what we need to accomplish here and then what i'm going to do with the rest of our materials i'm going to make a few ramps the so three ramps will be good and we'll use these to help us out with maybe kiting the bears that it, that we come across. Or, I don't know, just helping us get wherever we need to be, right? So will put those in there. I'm also just going to kind of dump most everything in here that I'm not going to need. I'll keep all the food, of course. Um, I'm actually going to cook up all of this meat here as well. So why don't we build a campfire? We'll grab, grab these rocks plus a little more. I'm going to build a campfire. Excuse you. I don't know what you are. You must be a rabbit since I can't lock onto you. Yep. Uh, we're going to build a campfire. I'm going to build up that meat because meat's a great resource in this game to heal with. So that way, if we do get attacked by something, start taking damage, I can heal up with some meat. Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, little shabby. All right, let's grab my fish. I don't care about the rest of these. Bam. Fishy. So I've got a 20 stack of meat with three extras. I've got some fishy poos and we've got some extra little fruits and veggies here. I got the fish obviously because I want health boosts for this. So we're going to be eating meat and fish for our health boost to bump us from what? I think 300 is my base to... Oh, that's still 300. There we go. 500. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Do the math for me. Oops. Didn't mean to set a spawn there. It's not going to do me any good. I'm going to pick this up and take it with me. I'm also going to pick this up. Well, I guess I'll take all this with me, too. Drop this. Wait for this last fish. Thank you, fish. Take the wood. Take this with me, just in case I need to sleep one more time. I don't think I will, but you never know. And now we're going to go on an adventure. So I'm going to swap my arrows over to the flint arrows for this. Um, I'm assuming with the... What do you call it? With this being hardcore and whatnot, we, I'm going to have to be a little more careful. From what I remember, everything was pretty simple except for this first one we're running to here. I believe there was at least one bear along the way. And then there was two bears that spawned when we set up our little recon device here. So, with that in mind, we can see a little wolf right here. Hello, bud. With that in mind, we're going to take that fight a little cautiously because there's only one of us. And fighting, fighting one bear is easy, but fighting a bear and anything else, never mind two bears... Uh, substantially harder even with the right skills because i'd have to get lucky with my bow perks to proc to enable the stun or the immobilize and with that that would help me to fight kill the other one most likely before it became unmobilized again or mobilized again but that's kind of like i think it's like a five percent chance so you're really playing with fiber to work with something like that so i'll show you what my plan is when i get there and i figure it out all right, we're approaching our first little pod here. Like I said, from what I remember about this one, I'm going to have to drop my backpack too. Well, not drop it, but take it off. That. Oh, I lost my backpack. Um, What's an extra item? Oh, that. Boom. There we go. I'll put that in here. There we go. So we'll take this. Excuse you. 
Is it because I don't have an empty slot? Okay, consume all of my pumpkins. And I'll drop these rocks. I'll drop that. Okay, how about now? That's weird. Isn't that supposed to go in your back? I could have swore this thing went on your back. Okay, uh, I'll just put it here then. All right, so I'm going to put that down. Okay. We're reading station one activated. Wait, what? Keep it up. Wait, did that just say activated? I don't want that activated. Oh, no. Hold on. Deploy it. Oh, I got it. I'm thinking of a different mission in my head. Oh my god, that made me nervous. I'm like, where are the bears? Uh, this is the mission where we put down all three of these and then we just have a huge wolf attack on us. It was like a, a dozen wolves or a half a dozen wolves. But that being the case, this is actually slightly easier. But we don't know if that holds true. You know, we don't know if in the hardcore mode it's just a bunch of hard wolves or if they change it to be like some bears or anything like that. So the next spot we go is right here and we're just going to be doing the same thing. We're going to try we're going to put another scanner down, go over there and put it down and then we're going to come down to the river for this little pond here. And then that's where the triangulation will happen and then while that scanner is going, that's when the wolves will start to pour in. See, I told you I forgot what this mission was when we first started. Stupid. All right, the next scanner has been acquired. Take this, plop it down here. Throw you in here. Deployed, so that's Station going across. Love this. Station one's connected. Just want to get Here's a nice little screenshot of this. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna head to that very last spot here. Oops, there we go. Beautiful stuff. We'll head to the last spot way over here, and then we'll be heading back to the river. After a little mountain climbing, we're at the last one here. We'll grab this thing. Bam, boom, straight to the moon. Station I climbed up this. Connected. Systems holding. So here's Nearly the final there. spot. Like I said, it's going to be at the at the little Just pond the here. And gonna have all the data they need. Great. We want to get Set all that data. The lake. You got it, boss. About it's got them real interested. Oh, I'm sure but that's like they like the wolves. Anything. I know. Like Soul is like useless to us no one tells him anything until it, they're ready to tell us like i don't really get the process behind that he's the only one we ever hear from and he never even need knows what we need to know he's like welcome to icarus head to this location then i'll tell you what to do when you get there and you're like all right cool <clears throat> make your way halfway across the world past 12 dozen caves and then you finally get up there and it's like all right you needed to bring a bunch of iron with you. Hope you didn't forget it. <laughs> what is this? Prioritary. Oh, pri prioritary. Priority interplanet. Interesting. I never actually like looked at these from Mars core. Let's say Mars or Anaris. Huh. All right. Let's grab this. All right. This thing can go here. And so there's like a few things we could potentially do to cheese this, right? You can just build like a structure going up, for instance. Like this obviously wouldn't do anything, but it would help me out. And honestly, probably standing on this here will uh, do most everything we need anyways for us. Can we even jump up here on our own? No. Like, honestly, that alone might be enough to, <laughs> to deter all the creatures that come after us. So let's just hit, let's start this upload here. Uplink activated. Data's coming through clean and green. Oh, that's a rabbit. I was like, something's Shouldn't coming for me long, already. Friend. From what I remember, the wolves came from like over here because I remember last time I sat over here by the pond and then they kind of like slowly trickled into me. That's a wolf. Hitting the branches over there and whatnot. He's dead. See, there's a wolf spawning right there. There's another one. 
that's when like the if like if you brought the module in, I don't know if those were close enough, but that's when having that module could be helpful, you know. So you can see the outlines through the bushes and be able to line those shots up better. There's another wolf. What's up, bro? There's another wolf. He's gonna come through the bushes here, right? Missed my shot. There's another one. It's kind of walking like a goofball. Not a bad shot. That wasn't too shabby. If I holy shit, that's a look at that thing. Why is he running like that? Psycho. What? Why was he running like that? <laughs> Did you see that thing? He was level one, so it like didn't have much health. But why? What was with that dead ass sprint? Dude went a thousand miles an hour. Look, yeah, they can't hit me up here. Kind of cheesy, huh? But it's hardcore. That's what you can do. Why are these things? Are these things like showing red because of the light coming off of here? Like it looks, it looks so goofy down there. Oh, that's a rabbit. No, these these rabbits that are like alive out there somewhere. I can see a wolf over there. Look at these bears. Dead ass sprinting in here. Then they get in there like, yeah, we're cool, bro. We're cool. God damn. This is kind of hardcore. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I wasn't cheesing up here... I mean, I, I honestly still think I could kill them all pretty easily because you can see they just kind of like dead ass run in and then they just kind of get distracted anyways. So like, as long as you're paying attention, they're not going to... Oh, wow. He did hit me. Look, you're not completely safe. Like, they're not going to come directly for you anyway, so you can always get the first shots in on them and that's what's really important. There's no sneak attacks on these types of missions, so... Um, okay, it's still going. I was going to say, is that transmitter going? So yeah, they definitely changed it in hardcore, which is cool. Like it's still a beginner level mission, so this is definitely a good um like a good preliminary mission for people to get into the hardcore mindset. Just way down there. I was way off with thinking where it was. Because obviously these are just level one bears, so they're not the worst thing. Um I obviously have some damage perks, so if a brand new character came in and did this, they wouldn't be doing the same kind of damage I am to the to the bears with headshots and whatnot, but you know, neither here nor there. It still wouldn't be impossible, nor too hard, especially since you can just kind of stand up here. The difference would be uh, if that bear took a swipe at you, took a swipe at you from up here, what is it going to do to you compared to me, right? Because I've got a 41% damage reduction with this armor on. Did he kill the other one for me? He did. Oh, you know, might as well get like a free kill over here too. This is not a bad little mission for experience though. I definitely That's would agree it. with that. Scans done. Dude, look at all these freaking corpses here. That's a screenshot right there, you know? Okay. That's it. They're going to do one like that, you and then we're going to get a... Uh, you know what we need? We, we need a place, selfie, like, it ain't got like this. On you. Oh, 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 nope, no, don't go in picture mode. Ah. So many wolves. I was not ready for this. Eat this. Eat that. There we go. Are the wolves just going to keep spawning? I mean, if that's the case. Uh, if that's the case, that's a good little farm right there, you know? All right, try again. Go into this mode. Bam. Look at this. See, you always you should get good pictures of everything, you know? Like look at this. That's a good that's a good sight right there. How beautiful is that? It's not something you'll see every day, right? So I am just gonna skin all these real quick. I'm not gonna take anything because we're leaving, so I don't actually care. But what I'm doing is I'm just getting that quick little bit of XP. We did some obviously you saw when we started this mission, my whole XP bar was red. I did some other uh, little content things to where I was testing like the physical resistance, so I let my character die a few times, and that's that's why I'm so low like that. But again, I'm level 80. It doesn't actually matter. Like it's just more blueprint points at this point, and obviously you can see I have quite a few of them just kind of sitting around. But you know what? This this is free. 
This is free XP. You might as well take it, right? But all right, let's head back to the ship and let's go check out. Man, these look gross like that. Ew. Ew. Let's head back to the ship and see what our rewards are. But yeah, guys, if you're loving this kind of content, so make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment as well at telling me what you thought was going to happen if you thought I was going to die. I hope you left a comment telling me how you thought I was going to die. Ha, huh? I proved you wrong. I am a great survival expert. I don't even see. I say that and then I don't even know where the hell I parked my ship. Got to go this way. But yeah, do that. Also, leave a comment. Let me know how difficult you thought this mission was going to be and then how it turned out. I can honestly say I expected some sort of bear interaction. Like it was my hope. That was a lot of freaking bears and they were fast as freaking hell. Like those things just came whipping in like out of nowhere. Like if I was sitting on the ground, that would have scared the crap out of me. Like absolutely made me pee myself. But yeah, that was crazy. Crazy cool too. That was actually, I didn't think I was going to even enjoy this mission because it's a beginner level mission. Even though it's hardcore, you know, you're, it's like, eh, you know, whatever. Uh, no, that was fun. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. And I challenge you to go and do it yourself as well, either with a friend or solo. And if you need friends, come check out the Discord. We, we're, get, we're growing an active community over there. We've got people wanting to play with other people. So you know, come on in, head over to that Icarus channel, introduce yourself, and uh, go make a friend. But all right, guys, let's head down here and go check out the mission rewards. Here is our lovely pod. Let's get the heck out of here. We'll kill that wolf real quick. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Return to the station. Uh, let me make sure I finish the mission here. Mission complete. Okay. Sometimes it's like a weird thing where it's like you think you completed the mission, but you really didn't. So, yeah, guys, like I'm always saying, make sure you hit that like button down below if you're loving this. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. If you are new here, do hit that subscribe button as well so you can get back here for that sweet, shabby content. But all right. Let's see what we've got for some sweet mission rewards here. It's a nice early hardcore mission. It's nothing to grind, that's for sure. But um, it's definitely something to put on your checklist to have some fun with. It's definitely a good, fun mission. All right, select my character. Come on. There we go. Completed. 125 research points and 10 exotics. Nothing to, sh nothing to shake a stick at, but you know what? It was a good time. I had a lot of fun playing that mission. And I hope you all had a lot of fun watching that. But all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. As usual, this has been Shabby Doo, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.